Welcome back nail queens. I want to show you guys exactly how I go about making my press on nails for either dip powder or gel. Today I'm going to be doing gel but I'll cover dip powder in a future video but I want to show you guys some of the stands I've been using. I like these pink ones from the Painted Desert. They're very sturdy and they clip apart which is great for when I'm doing dip powder or nail designs. So the first part of my process for doing the press-ons is taking out the jelly tips that I need to use to paint on them. So I'm going to pull out the Soul Dip Short Almond ones and I already marked exactly which ones are my sizes so that when I already have a set on I don't even have to measure. I just pull them out, design, and go about my business. Between my left and my right hand, one finger doesn't have the same size, so there's actually six sizes here, so I had to switch one out because it was an extra. So the next thing I do is just verify these are actually my sizes. You don't have to do this if you already know your sizes and it's all good to go, but I'm just double checking just in case. Now I have to use this tape to adhere the tips to the stand so that I can paint on them. This is carpet tape. I bought this off of Amazon and let me tell you it is so much stronger than those like blue double-sided sticky tacks that I've seen other press-on creators use. If you want your stuff to not move, especially if you're dealing with like dip powder or acrylic and you got to file shape and buff, get carpet tape. So now all my tips are on these links. Remember the links are from the Painted Desert and they actually come in three colors, pink, purple, and white. I also have this other white stand. I believe I got this one from the Clear Jelly Stamper, but I know that Amazon and Shein, they all sell them. So I'm putting, just like fixing this one and putting tips on this one as well to so show you the process. So the reason between the two different stands for me is if I'm doing like a one color gel mani, I do my gel on this stand, but if I'm doing dip powder, I do the dip powder on the pink links that I just showed you because I can dip the individual link in my jar of dip powder, no problems, whereas using the stand to dip in dip powder is a little more challenging. So keep that in mind if you want to start doing press-ons with dip powder. Here I'm filing the little tab that is like usually at the end of the free edge of plastic or jelly tips. Usually I've seen them on both. And now I'm going to start off with the same process I do on any time I put gel on plastic or like tips or a swatch stick, I always prime the tip or the swatch stick first. So I'm using the Soul Dips Nail Primer on all of the jelly tips because I'm going to go in with a gel polish at the end. I do this on my swatch sticks too and the reason why is because I've noticed that my gel polishes will peel off of the plastic like swatch sticks and I don't want that to happen to my jelly tips either so if I put a primer and a gel base it will last so much longer so that's very important for me for longevity and I mean who wants their swatch sticks to start peeling nobody So now that the gel base is on all the tips, I'm going to cure this in my lamp for a full 60 seconds and then we can get into the gel polish color. So the color I've chosen is this color Emily from Soul Dips. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous like magenta color. It's a solid color, but Soul Dips has like a huge variety of gel polishes. They're absolutely stunning. So it's a very pigmented and rich color. However, I always make sure to apply thin layers of gel polish for the first, second, all the layers, because I've noticed the thicker I do my layers, the more chances I have of it like bubbling up and not fully curing. And you don't want that. You want your gel polish to be as smooth as possible. So I'm going to hush now so you guys can watch the finishing part of the process. Okay, so the first coat is done. I'm going to cure that in my nail lamp for 60 seconds and come back and do the second coat. I noticed that on the pointer finger right here, I didn't get the free edge super smooth when I was filing the tippy tabs off. So I'm just like filing that now. 
just to make sure it's nice and smooth before I apply the second coat. So while I'm doing this, I want to talk a little bit about why I started doing press on nails. This isn't a permanent thing for me. It's just a temporary thing. However, I am enjoying it a lot. So the reason I started doing press on nails is because I have some content obligations with a few brands. It's okay, I really enjoy creating content and it's really fun and enjoyable for me. However, these deadlines are pretty back to back and honestly I wanted to limit how much I was exposing my hands to these products and how much filing, shaping and buffing and prep work I was doing to my natural nails. So I felt like doing this content creating on press on nails was the best way for me to satisfy my obligations with these brands and also keep my best interest in my nail health and my hand health, like my skin, a top priority for me. This has also helped me a lot in terms of time management because I can put the press ons on, take the pictures that I need, do the videos, whatever, and create the next set without having to wait until I remove the manicure if it was like permanently attached to my nails, like usually like using peel base and all that. I don't have to wait and pop it off. I can literally just move on to the next and I'll take pictures in a different day. So it's really nice to be able to do that. So now I like to actually store and write what I'm using on cards. I have this index card that I got from the Dollar Tree. On the back side, I write like the tips and the products that I used. And then on the clear side, I put this like, I don't know what to call it, um, clear plastic tip holder. I don't know what to call it. I'm sorry. Um, and double-sided tip tack, I'm gonna call it that, on top of the clear plastic thing. And I just put all the tips there. And that is how I save these tips for future use when I decide to go take the mani photos or do some reels or tutorials, something like that, which um, I'm actually gonna show you guys like a reel that I just created and a um, some mani photos that I took for this set in particular. So I created this set at night, I believe. And it wasn't until the next day that I put the tip on and took the photos and did the reel and went about my business. I actually wore these tips for two, I think three days. So here's the Manny photo and here's a quick reel. I can't include the music or I'll get a copyright strike. Thank you, Instagram and YouTube. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I have more press on videos coming soon. Don't worry. Drop any questions you guys have about the press ons in the comment box below and I'll be sure to do a Q&A video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.